Hi, hello and howdy. My name is Erin of Essentially Erin and if you are new here, welcome to my channel. If you are a longtime subscriber, welcome back. Today we are going to jump in with another product review. Um, as you can see, I am in my fall slash winter comfies. Uh, the weather has really started to turn here in the Seattle area. We are actually under a flash flood warning right now because we've gotten so much rain in the last few days. But along with that rain, when you see the weather turn outside, it starts to get a lot drier inside. So I'm really excited to review this line. I know a lot of people have talked to me about it before, but we are jumping into a line that I know is gonna pack a punch when it comes to moisture. And it also has a little bit of protein balance on it. So today we are jumping in giving a completely honest, unsponsored review of the Uncle Funky's Daughter line. Now this is specifically the ultimate kinky and curly travel kit. I got this cute little kit at Target. I love it because it comes with all four products. It's relatively inexpensive and you get like a decent amount of each one. So each one is two ounces. So in it, I'm gonna try to keep, like I can show you guys, but unfortunately like the ring light makes it reflect off of it. Um, but in here, you've got the midnight train leave-in conditioner, the super curl miracle moisture cream, the extra butter curl forming cream, Curly Magic Curl Stimulator, and Thirsty Curls Leave-In Curl Revitalizer. Now, based on everything that I've read online, this brand has almost like a cult following, but especially with those that have type four coily hair or low porosity hair. And I know that this line is really popular for people that have low porosity hair or hair that has a tough time holding onto and locking in moisture. So I'm really excited to start using this because like I said, the weather started to turn, it started to get wetter outside, but shockingly drier inside because we're pumping up the heat inside our houses. So I'm excited to review each of these products and let's jump in. So within this pack, you've got five different products. Based on everything that I've been reading online, I can use pretty much all of these. For today, we're gonna exclude two of them. First, we're gonna exclude the Thirsty Curls Leave-In Curl Revitalizer because again, it's for revitalizing curls and everything that I've read is it's really good to use as a refresh. So after you've styled, you know, maybe three or four days into it, if your hair needs more moisture or it needs to kind of restyle certain sections, this is a good way to revitalize, eh? using the name, the curls so that they can kind of hold out for a couple more days before your wash day. So the other one that I'm also not gonna be using is the Extra Butter Curl Forming Cream. The reason I'm not gonna use it is because for my fine type 3B hair, it's probably going to weigh it down. Everything that I've read online says that this is really good for protective styles like twist outs, things that your hair really needs to sit in and absorb that moisture. I have a feeling it's probably gonna weigh my hair down a little bit. I would use that if I was kind of doing something where I wanted to do twist outs before I went to bed and then the next day I kind of take my hair out of that style. So for today, I'm gonna go wash. I'm gonna use a completely separate line for washing since this is just a line of stylers here. Since these stylers are a little bit heavier on the oils than what I would normally use, especially during like the spring and summer when it's a little bit more humid outside, I'm going to wash with my Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner. That way I know that I've got really light, you know, perfectly cleansed hair before I put any of these potentially a little bit thicker, denser products on it. So today I'm gonna style with the Midnight Train Leave-In Conditioner, the Super Curl Miracle Moisture Cream, and the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator, all right? So I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I will meet you guys in the bathroom when I am done and we will walk through each of the products step by step. Okay, so we are out of the shower. We're gonna jump into styling. I have detangled my hair with my Be Hairful brush. It's just faster that way. Um, so we're gonna jump in, take everything out. So super curl. Thirsty curls is the one that we're not gonna use today. Curly Magic, that's the gel. Midnight Train, which is our leave-in. It feels like Mary Poppins bag. And the Extra Butter, which is also the other one that we're not gonna use today. Also, if I apologize if there's any background sound, like I said, we're under a flash flood warning, so you guys are probably gonna hear the sound of the rain hitting our skylight in the bathroom. Um, so apologies, because I can't really edit that out. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're gonna jump in with the Midnight Train. Um, oh my gosh, I love this. Your tresses will be leaving on the Midnight Train to Gorgeous with our hydrating leave-in conditioner. Love it. Okay, so since this is a spray, if you guys know me, you know that I like to put it on my hand first because that way I can actually maximize how much I'm using on my hair. I've always felt that with sprays, if you spray it, 
you can't really tell how much product you're actually putting in your hair. Oh, smells kind of like bubble gum. Like it's just definitely sweeter than I thought it was gonna be. It's very liquidy. So it's really hard for me to ah, tell, but it's fully liquid. So this actually might be a better one to spray directly on the hair versus the hand. I have committed now, so I'm gonna keep doing it in my hand. Um, but given that this does not come out like a lot of other leave-ins where it kind of comes out in more like watery conditioner form, this might be one that you can get away with spraying directly onto your hair. Sour apple, that's what it smells like. Bubble gum and sour apple but not in like an obnoxious way. You know, it's, it's in a nice way. It doesn't smell like overly sweet or overly sour. It's good, I like it. Okay, now we're going in with the Super Crawl. This one doesn't have any like cute phrases or anything on it. It just says hydrates, detangles, defines, and adds moisture to dry curls. Divide hair into sections, emulsify a quarter size dollop between palms and apply from root to ends through damp or dry hair then style. So because I have fine hair and obviously Uncle Funky's is really made for people that have coily or curly hair, which obviously I am a part of, but I'm on the other end of that spectrum. I'm gonna make sure that I don't put too much. So a little goes a long way. Um, it says a quarter, a quarter size in sections. So I'm gonna try a quarter size in just half instead of splitting it up even more. This one has like a, an earthier smell. It's not as like fruity or in your face. It's still nice. It's very light though. So I always like to take the amount off of the lid. I'll add a little more. It's very liquidy though. Like it's not nearly as thick as I thought it was going to be. It's still relatively light smell. And now we go in with the Curly Magic Curl Stimulator, which is the last step, the gel step. Oh, that one's stronger. That has more like botanical, kind of smells like there's like tea tree oil in there. Oh, this one's not okay. It says, keep the junk in the trunk. Oh no, it doesn't, okay. So this one says, flex your curl muscle naturally with our aloe base firm hold curl enhancing gel. very jiggly. Okay, so since I need this to last a couple of days, um, as the weather turns, I like to try to not style my hair or refresh my hair as often. So I tend to do a lot more finger coiling or finger rolling in the fall and winter months so that my styles can last a little bit longer before they have to be manipulated again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the time to finger roll my whole head. Uh, I'm gonna do that off camera. I have an entire other video on how to do that, which I will link above. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But it might be on this side, I don't know, above, up here somewhere. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera and then I will come back and talk to you guys about the results once it's dry. Okay, so I finished finger rolling the entire head. Um, it, okay, so it's really interesting. Um, because this line has more oils and butters and it's a significantly more moisturizing line than what I normally use, trying to get a grip in order to finger roll was really difficult. Um, so I know that there are gonna be some curls that kind of definitely come out wonky and separate um, just because I literally couldn't get the hair together to do it. Um, but overall, pretty good. I'm interested to see whether or not my hair feels like uh, oily or greasy, which I know can happen with products that do have an overabundance of moisturizing elements like aloe, different types of coconut oil or sunflower butter. So like I'm, I'm excited to see kind of how my hair handles it. Right now it feels fine. Right now it feels really lightweight, super bouncy. 
but uh, I'm gonna let it air dry. I'm not gonna touch it, finish up things for the day. Then we will look at what the cast is and break it up and talk about the results. Okay, so my hair is dry. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like with the cast. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I thought my hair would be a lot more weighed down than it is. Um, it still feels really light, super bouncy. So I'm eager to see what it looks like after I break the cast. Um, it gave me actually a solid cast though. Um, I didn't know if it would because sometimes really moisturizing gels don't give you the same kind of hard hold that other gels do. Um, but this one, this, this turned out pretty good. Um, so I am going to go ahead and break the cast off screen and then we will talk about the results. All right. So cast is broken. I went through and separated some of the larger curl clumps, but overall guys, my hair is shiny. Like, I'm not gonna say it, but y'all know what I'm saying. It's shiny. Um, so my hair feels, okay, so full disclosure, my hair does feel slightly more oily than it does normally. Not in a weighed down greasy way, but I can just tell that I used more moisturizing products than I would normally. Um, usually anything, the same thing happened when I did my review of the Rizos Curl line. Um, Loved it, loved how my hair looked with it, loved how my hair felt with it, but I could feel a difference in utilizing those products versus my normal routine that kind of balances protein and moisture. Now, the good news about Uncle Funky's daughter is that they do have protein in their products. So I know that I'm not overly saturating my hair with moisturizing products, that I'm getting a good balance in this. And that's what I think is the saving grace for these products for me, is that I know I can integrate them within my routine and not worry about going too far into high growth fatigue and over moisturizing my hair but my hair feels insanely soft and shiny like look at that shine sparkle dazzle like it looks great super happy I don't know if I would utilize these products like week over week for me but I definitely could see myself utilizing these more in the winter especially as it gets drier outside and that's it that is my honest, unsponsored review of Uncle Funky Daughters. This is their ultimate kinky and curly travel kit. We used three out of the five products. I am super excited to kind of integrate this into my routine. Definitely going to utilize the Leave-In Curl Revitalizer this week to see how it does with refreshing my hair as the week goes on. Um, I might throw the extra butter into a random giveaway on Instagram since I know that it's probably not going to be something that I actively use. I might as well gift it to somebody that can use it more often than me. So make sure that you are following me here. Subscribe, like, comment, tell me what you think, but also follow me on other social platforms. I'm essentially Aaron pretty much everywhere, but especially active on Instagram and Pinterest. If you're following me, you might randomly be chosen for a giveaway winner. But that is my honest review of these products. Super moisturizing, absolutely love them. I can definitely see myself like rotating them in this winter season. I would recommend that you do the same, especially if you do have medium to high porosity hair like I do, because it does get impacted as the weather changes outside. Let me know what you guys want me to review next. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you guys love Uncle Funky Daughters too. I love connecting with you guys. I'm super excited for us to walk into this new season together. And I hope that this video helped you get closer to essentially being yourself.